Hello everyone, this is Moot, and in this episode, we're going to use sorcery items to become a mage. So becoming a mage is different than being a priest. A priest, we know that we can cast spells uh, activating our statuette. But become a mage, we actually have to use a special staff uh, uh, that was combined with a starfire gem. Okay, uh, we're going to go ahead uh, inside of our cave right now. We have a 3x3 three three flat area next to veins and next to a holy altar. And we want to actually use the smoke of soul to become a mage. Many of us in our personal goals have uh, goals to become a magician or arc mage or shadow mage. And in order to achieve that, you actually have, have to um, do the, the Valerie, the sorcery items in special orders. So uh, I'm going to show you how to become a shadow mage. Shadow mage consists of three, well, three or four. We're going to go ahead and use four of them. A black tome, smoke of saw, liberum of the night, and the white tome um, in order to achieve that goal so we're in our area we're in our cave and if we use it we know we're going to activate it but I want to show that uh, you can go ahead and do a, uh, a description of it by examining it right right you can right click examine and it'll tell you how many charges many of the tombs have three charges in the beginning Liburn of the night I believe only has one charge um, and it will tell you if you try to activate it, if you try to use it, it will tell you that you're missing a specific reason. You need to be in the depth, uh, deep in the barren desert where nothing grows. Or if you use the green tome, it's going to tell you you need to be close to a strong plant. But I believe all, all of them, you need to be in a 3x3 three three flat area next to a, quote, holy altar. So if I moved all the way over here, okay, this is a kind of a two by three and I wanted to use the smoke of soul it's gonna tell me you need to be in a three by three area and you need to be next to a holy altar specifically if I was outside um, it would also tell me that I need to be within the darkness of a cave so let's go ahead and use the smoke of soul first and it's pretty simple you just right click and you use and when you have met all the requirements uh, it will go ahead and and use it um, okay here we go we got 10 seconds left there's a little flavor text, the pain, the horror, the horror. And two seconds left. And there it goes. You will henceforth be the occultist moot red. And if I and you can see what, what look what it did there. It took away all of my nutrition. It took away my water. And it actually left me with uh with a uh, an infection. <laughs> nice. Um and if we go to our titles, we can see that we now have a cultist title that we can choose from. Okay. So we use Smoke of Soul. That's interesting. It actually didn't go away. It has one. Okay. Well, that's fine. Let's go ahead and use the Black Tome. Let's see what this does to us. Remember, we're trying to receive Shadow Mage. You stare into the darkness of the abyss. You step into it and fall. You fall. Oh, wow. Okay, so I got my... Oh, that was probably not related. I'll be a witch doctor. And let's go ahead and use the Librium of the Night. Ten seconds left. You never thought that something could be this dark, so vicious and hopeless. And you can see here, I'm already getting these benefits. You'll be known as the Death Knight. Okay, and if I go here, if I go to my HUD settings and spell effects, you'll see that um, I'm now receiving resistance bonuses and I'm also receiving vulnerabilities. So physical damage, I receive 10 physical damage resistance, but I have 10% 10 vul 10 vulnerability to poison, uh, none to disease because it canceled out. I'm actually 85% uh, disease toughness, and I have 85% uh, pierce reduction caused by player. So if you just highlight it, it'll actually tell you... Um, what it does. Let's go ahead and use the white tome. See if we can get our our shadow mage. Okay, the liberum of the dust just 
crumbles into dust. The strong light emanating from the pages make you wonder if you really read those symbols. Okay, and remember, it's going to give us there are a different icon, still known as Death Knight. Your hunger goes away as you fast. So now I have this physical resistance, pierce resistance, poison vulnerability, water vulnerability, pierce vulnerability, um, bite resistance. Okay, what else can we use here? I wonder if we can use it again. No, you already know the secrets to that. Can we use the... Green cherry, I don't think so. Scroll of binding. Standing next to the shadow water. Okay, so what we know, this is exactly how you use the, how you actually use uh, sorcery items or Valerie's uh, tombs, tomes that drop from uh, specific um, unique creatures like a Kyclops. And if you want to borrow with people in order to get one of these, uh, there's always a benefit. There's always... Uh, a vulnerability, a resistance and vulnerability. And you can check that out. I'll link uh, in the description of the video um, the Wormpedia and also some um, some other references on what each of the different sorcery items do. And then uh, we'll also uh, use the magic to cast. So uh, thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned for more videos. I'm going to go through uh, kind of how to make the red tomb available and how to make the green tomb and different uh, sorcery items available. Thanks for watching.